Diana Lynn, a classic Hollywood actress, distinguished herself among her contemporaries through a blend of talent and versatility. Her ability to seamlessly navigate between various genres and roles set her apart in an era dominated by formidable talents. When reflecting on Diana Lynn's body of work, one may ponder what specific moment resonates, leaving an enduring impact. It is this distinctive quality that invites contemplation as each viewer finds their own connection to the timeless allure of her performances. For many, it might be a particular scene or film that etched a lasting memory, showcasing Diana Lynn's prowess and leaving a lasting impression. Her contributions to the cinematic landscape extend beyond the screen, creating an indelible mark on those who appreciate the artistry of classic Hollywood. As we delve into the legacy of this accomplished actress, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Diana Lynn. Your stories enrich the tapestry of appreciation for this iconic figure in film history. We would love to hear your reflections in the comments below. What makes Diana Lynn stand out for you? And is there a particular moment from her works that has had a lasting impact on you? Share your thoughts and memories with us. Diana Lynn, an accomplished actress, faced a pivotal moment in 1971 when Paramount offered her a role in Play It as it lays alongside Anthony Perkins. Despite being semi-retired and residing in New York, she returned to Los Angeles for the part. Unfortunately, fate took a cruel turn, and just before filming commenced, Lynn suffered a fatal stroke, leaving the role unfulfilled. Adding a personal touch to her life, Gore Vidal, the renowned author, served as the godfather to one of her children. This connection highlights the intersection of Lynn's professional and personal spheres. In her career, Lynn co-starred with the late Gail Russell in the popular film Our Hearts Were Young and Gay. In this production, Lynn portrayed writer Emily Kimbra, while Russell depicted her close friend and author Cornelia Otis Skinner. Notably, both Kimbra and Skinner outlived the actresses who portrayed them by over two decades. Diana Lynn's life and career were marked by promising opportunities, enduring connections, and the tragic end of a role that could have been. Her contributions to the silver screen, coupled with personal associations, create a nuanced narrative of an actress whose journey resonates in Hollywood history. Diana Lynn's multifaceted career included a lesser-known talent playing the piano for movies and albums. According to Laura Wagner's article in Films of the Golden Age, Diana, with an enormous musical gift, let it slip away after breaking her arm one summer. In the late 1960s, she ventured into a different domain, Operating Go, a travel agency located at a Bonwit Teller store in New York City. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Diana's diverse pursuits added layers to her intriguing persona. Notably, upon her passing, her final resting place became the Episcopal Church of the Heavenly Rest in New York City. These lesser-known aspects unveil a more comprehensive view of Diana Lynn, showcasing her versatility beyond the silver screen. Retiring from the limelight in 1970, Diana Lynn took an unexpected turn, stepping into the role of director for the Go Travel Agency in Manhattan. However, her newfound venture met a tragic end just a year later when, at the age of 45, she succumbed to a stroke only nine days after its onset. This abrupt conclusion marked a somber chapter in the versatile actress life. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, her diverse pursuits added layers to an intriguing persona. Unveiling a lesser-known facet, Lynn's early Hollywood days showcased her prowess as a pianist. She left a lasting musical imprint with significant recordings, including George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Her accomplishments as a musician paralleled her on-screen success, offering a glimpse into the multifaceted talents she possessed. Notably, Diana Lynn had musical roots as the niece of renowned composer, arranger, and conductor Robert Armbruster. This familial connection sheds light on the artistic influences that shaped her early years and contributed to her musical endeavors. In exploring the layers beyond the silver screen, Diana Lynn's journey takes a poignant turn with her untimely passing. Her final resting place at the Episcopal Church of the Heavenly Rest in New York City becomes a symbolic marker of the diverse chapters in her life. In essence, the actress narrative extends beyond the reels, encompassing a spectrum of roles that defined her legacy. From the glimmer of Hollywood to the notes of a piano and the helm of a travel agency, Diana Lynn's story resonates as a nuanced tale of versatility and the abrupt closure of a promising chapter in the entertainment industry.
Diana Lynn, born to Louis William Loher and Eartha, this found her early passion in music under her mother's guidance. By the age of 12, she showcased her musical prowess with the Los Angeles Junior Symphony Orchestra. Beyond her musical roots, Diana's versatility extended to Broadway, earning critical acclaim for her performances, including taking on the titular role in Mary Mary after Barbara Bel Geddes. In addition to her artistic pursuits, Diana's personal life intertwined with the entertainment industry. Her second husband, Mortimer Hall, connected her to the legacy of New York Post publisher Dorothy Skiff. This familial tie brought forth a blended family with children like Richard Roman Hall, Matthew W. Hall, Dorothy Teresa Dolly Hall, Miriam and M, Mary Hall, and Margaret A. Hall. Diana's journey traversed not only the silver screen, but also the Broadway stage, proving her mettle in various roles, both in original productions and revivals. Her ability to seamlessly transition between different facets of the entertainment world marked her as a multifaceted talent. This brief glimpse into Diana Lynn's life reveals a harmonious blend of her musical origins, theatrical successes, and family connections. From a young prodigy with the Los Angeles Junior Symphony Orchestra to a critically acclaimed Broadway performer and a member of a notable family, Diana Lynn's legacy is a testament to her diverse contributions to the world of entertainment. A precarious set, the unforeseen accident that left Diana Lynn on the brink. Amidst Diana Lynn's illustrious career, a pivotal moment unfolded on the set that changed the trajectory of her life. In a shocking turn of events, an unforeseen accident left her on the brink of both physical and professional turmoil. The incident not only disrupted the production, but also cast a shadow on Lynn's resilience. The details surrounding this on-set mishap remain a testament to the precarious nature of the entertainment industry. As the incident unfolded, fans were left in suspense, grappling with the uncertainty of Lynn's well-being and the fate of the project. The unforeseen accident not only posed physical challenges, but also raised questions about the safety protocols within the industry. Diana Lynn's journey, marked by promising opportunities and diverse talents, took an unexpected turn on that fateful day. The incident served as a stark reminder of the risks inherent in the pursuit of artistic endeavors. The aftermath of the accident undoubtedly left a lasting impact on Lynn's career, forcing her to navigate a complex path of recovery and reinvention. This unforeseen setback in Lynn's career sheds light on the vulnerability that actors face in the demanding world of entertainment. The incident, while tragic, also became a defining moment in Diana Lynn's narrative, showcasing her resilience in the face of adversity. It is a testament to the unpredictable nature of the industry and the challenges that actors like Lynn must confront on their journey. As we delve into this lesser-known chapter of Diana Lynn's life, we gain insight into the grit and determination that defined her response to an unforeseen accident on set. The repercussions of this incident not only influenced her professional trajectory, but also revealed a side of the entertainment industry rarely seen by the audience. In exploring the precarious set that became a turning point in Diana Lynn's career, we unravel the complexities of an actress journey beyond the glamour of the silver screen. The unforeseen accident serves as a poignant reminder of the resilience required to navigate the highs and lows of an industry where fiction and reality often collide. 